My name's Chris Edgerton. I'm an instrument maker and instrument restorer, and I work in London in Greenwich. And the question arose, how did 16th century instrument makers calculate fret positions on their lutes, guitars, and viols? Unfortunately, there are no early documentary sources describing any useful equipment or method used for the task of fret placement. John Dowland in 1610 describes a method in one of his publications using a pair of compasses and the trial and error method uh, of dividing the scale. Unfortunately, it's very cumbersome and it's subject to error. We even have fret templates from this workshop of Antonio Stradivari in the 1700s, but we don't know how they were calculated or devised. Now, Vincenzo Galilei, who was Galileo's father, was an expert mathematician and musician. And in 1581, he proposed that a universal equal temperament system of fret placement was the best option for making sure that everyone was reasonably in tune. And Vincenzo proposed a simple octave scale division using a factor of 18. And this has become known as the rule of 18. And it's assumed to have been applied from at least the 16th century. And to demonstrate the method in his publication, it used a mathematical proof. Now, loop makers, who were practical men, they needed a quick, foolproof method of marking frets without the need for difficult maths or geometry. So, two historical calculating instruments were available at the time that could apply the rule easily and with no particular skill or maths needed. And those are the proportional compass or compasses and the sectoral. So the first instrument is the proportional compass or compasses. And Leonardo illustrates the proportional compass in several times in his drawings and diaries. It's a double-ended compass with a central adjustable pivot so that you could set the opposite ends in complete proportion. So you could set it to say proportion of one to four or one to six or one to 20, whatever proportion you required. And setting the compasses to one to 18 enables the rule of 18 to be used for fret calculation. And I've got a simple experimental proportional compasses here, just two pieces of wood with a pivot. The distance at the long points, whatever you set that to, gives a 1 18th proportion at the other end. So to do a fret now, it's very quick and simple. I've got a scale length marked on this paper here. So I just take a reading of the entire scale length. So I've set the long points at the scale length. I don't need to know what length this is in measurement terms. It doesn't matter, the process is automatic. I just flip the compasses over and I mark the first fret from the end. And I take a reading of the scale length again, minus the first fret distance. Same process, flip it over and I mark it for the second fret. That's your second fret. And I just repeat that process until I have enough frets, typically eight or nine for a loot, but you can easily go up to 12 frets, no problem. It takes about 10 minutes to do it, and it's a very simple procedure. So this is the proportional compass, what's known as the long points. So whatever you set these two, gives a 1 18th proportion at the short points here. And it doesn't matter, whatever you set it to, it always gives a 1 to 18th proportion. So the other device, calculating device, is known as a sector. And it developed from around 1530, as far as we can understand. It was used in map making, uh, surveying architecture, military activities, and commodities trading. And it makes short work of calculating frets. It's a two-armed, flat device with equidistant markings along each arm. 
and a pivot at one end. And this is an experimental sector I made. It's got divisions up to 20, but it doesn't need to be. It can be as many as you like. As long as they're equidistant, they don't have to be any particular um, standard measurement. So in order to do a fret layout, I open the sector and I take a measurement of the scale length again. And I set the sector at the points labeled 18. I keep this as it is. Take a reading at 18, that's it. And then I take a reading at 17, closing the compass to that distance. Transfer that measurement to my scale length. That gives you the first fret. There it is. Now I keep the same measurement on the compasses and I set the sector to that distance at 18. I just close the sector. 18 and I take a reading from 17 closing the compasses appropriately and I set mark sector right there that gives you fret number two I keep the same measurement that I just used and I set the sector again to read the 18s I take a reading at 17, close the compasses to 17, and I transfer that measurement to my scale. That gives you fret number three. And I just repeat the process to get as many frets as I need, typically eight or nine for a loot, but you can easily go up to 12 and the accuracy is pretty good. So that's the sector. Thank you.